Hi friends, welcome back. Happy New Year 2023. Hopefully it brings us joy and happiness. But we're here today on Thursday with more laws. Once again, quick uh, housekeeping. The numbers you will see today, they kind of repeat numbers from last week and every other lot video because I am feeling the empty gaps in my list on whatnot. Okay? So if you're going to request any lots today, it's only from today's video or from whatever is in the list on whatnot. My link to whatnot in my description box below, just click on see more and you will see that link. Go there, either subscribe to get $10 or just click on my face, my avatar, you'll get to my live and you'll click on auctions tab and you'll see all the available lots from the previous videos there because if the lots from today's video are not purchased today or by the end of tomorrow friday they will be entered into whatnot list okay so it's today thursday or tomorrow friday they are available to request here on the youtube channel at Friday evening, they're going to be entered into list on whatnot. And you can just uh, email me if you see it on whatnot and a request from there. Okay. Please do not request any numbers from previous uh, videos, Thursday uh, jewelry lots sale videos, because they are just not available. I don't know which ones you're talking about. So the only ones are available are from today's video until tomorrow or the ones that are already in whatnot auction list okay all right but if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me at your vintage beauties at gmail.com okay and we cleared it all uh, out so no worries about it okay so let's uh let's get going all right lot number one Oh, this is my butterfly lot. I have a lot of butterfly jewelry, so I thought I'll put some together. All right. First, let's take a look. Here we have a um, silver tone chain with um, silver tone enamel butterfly. Then I have silver tone bracelet with, I think this is... It might be the real thing, the abalone shell. Then I have another necklace with enameled butterfly right here. Or no, it's maybe a shell also. All right, so this is another one. I have a pair of this beautiful butterfly earrings, silver tone with AB rhinestones. Another silver tone chain with a simple butterfly, outlined butterfly. And this one says Sarah Coventry, but I'm not sure this is Sarah Coventry. I know the chain, probably Sarah Coventry, but not the butterfly. Here we go. And just uh, two simple necklaces just to add to the lot. One is just a silver tone chain, beautiful links. Uh, it, this one is Alfani. And another one is silver, also silver tone necklace with different links, plates, and uh, beads. Very funky one. All right, this would be number one. All right, number two. This one is very whimsical, I think. I saw these earrings that I have, those pink glass elephants, the glass earrings, kind of art glass, really cute. And I said to myself, like, what can I put around these um, earrings? <laughs> then I found this brooch um, that I have. Then I found this earring, kind of Hawaiian flowers. Um, 
clip-ons. Um, then I added this stretchy bracelet also in pink. And then I added a few items um, that kind of sort of cloisonne items. First is this uh, butterfly right here. And then I added this froggy uh, pin because it's a whimsical lot. Why not? Then this purple stretchy bracelet with uh, with a turtle. Another um, closing a looking bolo tie. And last but not least is this whimsical uh, pink flower necklace. Um, I, I don't think that this is plastic uh, made to look uh, like a natural natural uh, stone. So yeah, this is it. And it's all around <laughs> this uh, pink glass elephant um, earrings. So this one is number two. You know, I was just thinking, if you if somebody wants to buy a lot, number one, the butterfly lot, and take the clothes and a butterfly and exchange it with something else and put it in a lot, number one just let me know i'll add the close and a butterfly to lot one and and put something else in lot two if you guys want to anyway this is number three so um this lot was um put around this beautiful necklace this is gorgeous uh, this one is not um, a stone. This more like um, uh, ceramic, I think, ceramic um, stones. This one's a plastic gold tone closure. So we have this necklace. Then I have a pair of this beautiful dangle earring with faux uh, pearls. I have a beautiful stretchy uh, bracelet. Anamish or an Amish. I don't know how to say it correctly. One more silver tone bracelet. I add this uh, brooch to the set. Also this unopened bracelet. It says live in the moment silver tone. And couple necklaces. One is silver tone with um, natural pearls. I think these are like potato river pearls and um, and different beads. It's a two-stranded necklace. Pretty hefty. And another another one a necklace is kind of a, like a sort of um, illusion necklace or what you call it a wire necklace. Uh, kind of a um, copper colored wire and then faux um, pearls and faceted beads also two stranded all right this one is number three all right moving on to number five Oh, this one I put together because I saw this necklace. This one's gorgeous. Silver tone with faux pearls and very gentle, muted. Probably You probably even can't see. They're blue uh, rhinestones. I really like this hanging thingy <laughs> right here. So um, very gentle, very muted blue color. Then I added uh, to that blue color a little bit more brighter for pearl necklace for um it says japan i think it says japan right here let me double check it might be something else yep it says japan all right so japan necklace then i um added this beautiful necklace it's a silver tone necklace uh, with, I, I believe this one is a swallow. And when you put it together, when you put it on, I would say, uh, with a hook closure, it looks like a swallow is carrying a droplet over water. This is um, acrylic, I think, 
rhinestone but it's still gorgeous look how cute all right so this one all right now um i added this uh stretchy bracelet with uh kind of a bluish faux pearls and you can take this one off but i'm not sure who this sign is isn't it like charming charlie maybe and last but not least is this necklace uh, links and chains and they're going through links so pretty cool and funky silver tone all right so this is number five coming up with number six let's see what i have is in, in number six uh I put everything around this necklace. I thought it was gorgeous. And the sound um, the beads make are uh, is gorgeous too. I like this kind of sound. I'm not sure if this is plastic or seed. But basically, it's this necklace. Then I added this one. This is a shell stretchy bracelet also with uh, seed beads and a shell goes well together with this one then i added another whatever i had with seed beads that would fit in to this lot uh, pair this pair of earring earrings then pair of this earrings then i added a couple necklaces that are not seed bead but still smaller beads these are natural beads um i'm not sure maybe carnelian jasper and another jasper or yeah right here so this one is natural. All right, so the next one is um, this necklace. I think this one is plastic, but this one is vintage. Look at the closure, kind of a hidden uh, barrel clasp. I really love closures like that. So this one. Next, I have uh, this um, bracelet. And the last but not least is this necklace, also seed beads, different faux pearls. I think this is a bone. And I believe some are natural stone, like right here is unikite, right here is jasper, I can see. So yeah, also this, um, uh, this is the set number six. All right, moving on to number seven. So this one, I think I wanted to do in a purplish bluish colors. So first I have uh, this necklace. They're plastic cabochons, uh, silver tone, uh, absolutely nowhere on this one. Excellent condition. Um, then I am adding this bracelet, also silver tone with a pinkish color um, dangly things. A pair of this earrings christopher and banks earrings on the card one more pair of earrings uh, with really fitting in into this you know um, kind of a theme of this faceted uh, beads this uh, beautiful necklace um, this one is multi-stranded necklace very festive gunmetal chain with very festive colorful faceted beads a bracelet like this toggle um it's not toggle but it's um this kind of a closure that you can move up and down and this one says be stronger than the storm and the last necklace in this set is also wire kind of illusion necklace also silver tone wire and silver tone clo uh, closure with uh, i think glass glass beads and yeah oh no i thought they were shells but they're glass beads looking like shells this one is iridescent yeah this is uh, this are glass glass beads all beads are glass Besides this one, little one, this one is probably um, plastic. Okay. All right, this lot is number seven. Next is number eight. Pearly 
and white blood. All right, first are two pairs of different earrings. One is a post, um, post earrings with faux pearls. Another, oh, these ones are also post. I thought they were a clip on um, second pair of post earrings, but these ones are gold tone and white plastic. Next necklace is this, um, a string of faux pearls, white with this box closure right here and let's see what the tag says the tag it says park lane right here park lane a string of park lane neck uh, faux pearls now here is i am not sure who the maker is but looks um like it's done very well exceptional quality faux pearls very clean very beautiful two strands fold over clasp i'm not sure it has any maker mark but the quality is exceptional stretchy bracelet um, these are real pearls they are knotted in between i think they're river freshwater pearls um lobster claw closure and one more necklace just to break all of this is a silver tone necklace gorgeous condition uh cookie lee right here tag all right so this is number eight next is number nine this one is probably let's see uh this one was put around this shell necklace look at this beautiful necklace very thick braid made out of multiple strands of seed beads and faceted beads and different silver beads no maker mark and it all comes to the focal point of um, a shell pendant gorgeous and then i added another necklace with shell right here another necklace with shell no make a mark yeah no make a mark here then i added this one this is not a shell uh this is an abstract kind of art brooch very beautiful brooch gorgeous uh black a little bit of a gold white and yeah very art modern contemporary art um next is um pair of these earrings from silver to black toned from shiny to matte couple of bracelets one are dangle bracelets they're kind of tied together one is like this with i think it's art glass not sure and one more silver tone necklace let me see new condition no make a mark but it does have this uh, pendant that uh, fits great in this theme Th so this one is number nine all right next one is 11. how can we have thursday jewelry lots without a red one right so this one is a red lot and I put it together around this necklace. This one absolutely gorgeous, that shimmery red necklace. So we're gonna have this one in this lot. And then I'm putting this um, post earrings. This one actually are, I think they're Monet. Let me double check. Yeah, these ones are Monet. All right, so here we have a pair of Monet beautiful gold and red monet earrings they a little bit kind of articulated right here a bracelet in in an alex and Ani kind of style bracelet silver tone absolutely new with a red uh, crystal right here a string of um, silver tone and red beads necklace all right now gold tone necklace multi uh 
stranded i think i think two strands but it's on the card fashion jewelry and this one i think this necklace is um, anthropology line lena bernard and i think she's in a kind of um Anthrop um, be belongs to anthropology but this is beautiful necklace also kind of gold tone goes into silver tone all right so this is number 11 next is 13 all right let's see what's we what do we have here oh i think a little bit of i think mostly i put everything around this necklace this is very chunky, brutally silver tone necklace with fold over clasp right here. I don't believe it has a maker mark. I think it's more of a kind of a color necklace. Very chunky. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I didn't do it correctly. It's all twisted. There we go. All right, so this necklace. Next, I'm adding this necklace, a silver tone and kind of a... Um, I forgot the name of this, when kind of you scratch it and it's kind of an etching design here. This bracelet, it does have a bird right here, cuff bracelet, silver tone. Oh my God, I love this design all around right here, this bracelet. A very simple silver tone chain kind of a vintage uh, clasp but I don't think it has any make a mark and let's see and two pair of uh, earrings ones are clip-ons I am not sure it have mark make a mark but they're gold tone and black enamel and the other ones are also um, pair of earrings for pierced ears Right here with black crystals silver tone with black crystals also in this lot i have this necklace silver tone um i think this one is american eagle i think with these two natural beads i, I believe these ones are either soda light or um, i think they're soda light yeah all right right here so this is number 13. 14 is the next one. Of course, everything would put together around this necklace. Seed bead, half of it is kind of turquoisey, bluish, greenish color. One is black and gold, have gold speckles everywhere. Then I added a um, pair of these earrings, kind of looks good together with gold speckles here and uh, kind of a, actually not gold tone, but bronzy speckles here and bronzy earrings. Then I have this necklace with glass beads, different color green and brown candy looking beads. Then a bronzy, goldish, bronzy color necklace. Just a simple chain with little rabbits right here. <laughs> what else do I have? Okay, I have this bracelet. Toggle, toggle clasp right here. Multi-layered bracelet. I think this... I think this is plastic or a uh, how light maybe it's not too cold to the touch but nonetheless not really plasticky feeling toggle clasp to different positions right here yeah cool bracelet orderly yeah interesting bracelet and last but not least i want to add this uh, gold tone leaf brooch that I think would look good in this set. All right, this one is number 14. Next is 15. I don't know how to describe this one. This one's kind of funky one. It was, I think, around 
beige pinkish kind of colors i put together so first is this necklace this one is vintage i think it's 80s or maybe no 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 i think it's even earlier than that because look at this lucite beads right here beautiful beautifully done lucite beads also hidden clasp hidden barrel clasp right here so this necklace will be in this lot next one is this necklace also seems to be vintage um i think this all made of wood this one is wooden necklace some is um this one i'm not sure what this is maybe plastic this one i'm not really sure i'm not really quite sure what this is okay but other parts are wooden two pair or uh, three pair of earrings right here kind of a rose gold uh, brassy color all for pierced ears and this ones are very old clip-on earrings these are flowers and someone told me that there was a period when the uh, when the petals in these flowers were made out of fish scales so i think this one's this one's they are made of fish scales I, I i think that what it feels to me like here you go they don't smell like fish don't worry <laughs> all right this and a couple of uh bracelets stretch bracelets these ones are glass and this i don't remember i think we did measure it on my presidium and it was higher than the glass but these ones are glass and this one either says mom or wow either one whatever you prefer and this one this one airmesh also uh, faceted beads okay so this is 15. next is 19. oh i see so i have this one is i have this necklace this one is really beautiful pendant made of like a pottery you know it has a little bit of crazing going on and a beautiful kind of a piece of pottery. Um, these ones are Bolivar glass and faceted um, different colored beads. Beautiful necklace, beautiful. And then I found this stretchy bracelet. This one's kind of dichroic glass, also fantastically fits together. Pair of gold tone earrings for pierced ears pair of clip-ons i believe they made out of uh, chestnut chestnut shell i think polished chestnut shell beautiful here this beautiful cuff bracelet this one is fumi f-u-m-i right here fumi this one is leather I'm not sure if it's like a snake or something. Maybe just made to look like this, but this is leather. And uh, this beautiful clip, probably like a scarf clip or, yeah. All right, this one is 19. 22. All right, this lot I put together of all the art glass that i had and plus some so let me show you first so first i had this necklace with this art glass pendant and then i started having more and more art pendants art glass pendants so i decided this one reminds me a little bit of melifiori look at this i think this one's kind of look right different flowers right here kind of stretched millifiori all right so i i thought maybe you can remove this pendant and put different pendants on this one and just exchange it as you go then i found one more art glass pendant gorgeous gorgeous all right so then i found one more necklace with um art glass this one is absolutely gorgeous look at this first of all it's fish then she has a 3d flower inside 
absolutely gorgeous. And then to tie it all up, I will add this bracelet with also art glass, a pair of post earrings, and this beautiful necklace, chunky necklace with a different color of beads. They're not glass, but they're uh, probably acrylic but they look gorgeous and last but not least is a little bit of natural element gold tone necklace with this pendant i think this one is like quartz smoky quartz or something like that. look how cute cute and it's crackled smoky crackled quartz or some kind of glass crackled glass there we go all right, this one is 22. All right, what's next? 25. This one is a little bit nautical, silly nautical. I saw this necklace. This one's actually vintage, this necklace. It might be silly looking, but it is vintage nonetheless. Hold on, let me... Okay. It does have this hidden barrel closure barrel clasp closure it has i think this one's avon i think so i think i saw somewhere that it might be avon i'm not really sure but this has shells then i saw this necklace that i decided to put together this one is absolutely new it's still in the baggie but it also has a couple shells and faceted rhinestone and this shell is marked with gold a little bit gold paint then I added the silver tone with a little bit of kind of a gold tone to it no actually just silver silver tone pair of shells then I added this bracelet with sea glass different color polished sea glass and the shell then I thought I'll add this funky earrings they're wooden fish earrings articulated kind of fish earrings one more stretchy bracelet with different uh, shells. Then what we have. Then a blue small seed necklace with a flower. And this one says Claire's. One more stretchy bracelet. Remind me a little bit of shells. One more gold tone necklace oh actually bronzy necklace i am not sure what um maker is it it's r and r and it has lips and, and kind of on the other side and it has crescent moon and another bracelet that has kind of a water motif because it has uh, starfish and faux pearls and different um faceted crystal all right so this one is 25 all right next one is 28 oh this one my, this is my kind of a blue color a lot all right let's start with this bracelet this is memory wire bracelet with absolutely gorgeous color blue beads and this sparkly beads Right here, I'm, I'm really glad that ends are finished. This bracelet, pair of earrings, one are uh, hoops and post earrings with gorgeous blue color rhinestones. Very beautiful hair piece, gorgeous blue enamel. Um, this is just a magnetic either a necklace or or bracelet also very very light blue kind of faux pearls um, this is a necklace with natural stones uh, the metal might not be at its best condition kind of a gold tone but these beads are um, i think they're lapis lapis lazuli because they have golden sparks if you can see inside all right next one is this beautiful necklace with purple roses very very light 
purple roses beautiful silver tone with this little puffy heart at the end very gorgeous color necklace Next was uh, next one is this uh, silver tone necklace with purple roses. Very very light muted purple roses. I like this accent right here um, at the extender at the end of the extender. It has puffy rose. Beautiful necklace. Next one is kind of a brassy color chain with a blue ultramarine I would say faceted beads there we go a bracelet with a doll <laughs> charm from Claire's silver tone and last necklace is a silver tone with gorgeous beads I think maybe they're acrylic yeah, I think they're, or maybe glass, you know? No, I think they're glass. Glass, really beautiful glass crystals. Okay, this one is 28. 29. This one is a silver tone, as you can see. gorgeous necklace i like the sound this one makes i don't know which one is front which one is back kind of a color um bead necklace with chachas beads no maker mark so this one next one is a silver tone necklace with beautiful clear rhinestones also oh no this one doesn't have a maker mark this one is chica's there we go, Chico's necklace, gorgeous necklace, a pair of hoops, kind of three hoops together, they, you cannot separate them, they're together, um, two plain and one shimmery, there we go, a pair of hoops, a bracelet, silver tone bracelet, hearts, and uh, fold over magnetic clasp, Right here, it folds over and then it closes magnetic clasp. One simple gunmetal necklace. And one more silver tone necklace. Just to tie it all together. Okay, this one is 29. And the last one for today is 26. As you can imagine, everything was put together around this necklace. Look at this statement necklace. Look at this. First of all, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Then you tie it and you have a beautiful statement necklace. Here we go, this one. Then I added this gold tone bracelet, fold over clasp. I don't think it has maker mark, but here it is. Bracelet. Two pair of earrings. One are clip on earrings, hoops, hammered gold tone hoops, and a pair of um, post earrings, which are stars right here right here i think is a silver tone and the stars are kind of muted gold tone and it says on the back let's see what does it say jen yep i i think it's at one point i tried to research what it means jen but i don't remember okay next i have this gold tone necklace beautiful this one is Napier. Okay, this one is Napier. And the last one in this slot is Gold Tone Necklace. Let's see if it has Maker. 
no maker but the pendant is this one gold tone kind of a hammered circle with beautiful uh, topaz color faceted bead rhinestone okay all right guys this one is 26 so thank you so much i appreciate you um coming in and joining me today i hope you like these lots so if any lots are left i will be adding them to my whatnot auction list on friday night on friday night for my saturday morning auction on whatnot okay so if you want any uh reserve them before friday night all right thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe on your way out I would really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to click thumbs up and click on the bell so you will not miss any more videos like this. Okay? Well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.